So it started back in about November, November of last year. And at the time I had, I think about 10 subscribers and it was just some close people I knew. I posted videos on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, just from travel trips I went on. And at the time, those platforms weren't utilized really for video and what they are today. So I posted them via YouTube link and kind of got views that way. And it was 20, 30 views on a video, which at the time wasn't bad. It was people watching my video. But about November rolled around and I had this idea and I came home and I was like, I wanna create videos that I watch, videos that I watch on a daily basis. And that for me was tech videos and making videos within the tech space of YouTube and the tech community. That's unboxing videos, that's review videos, that's how to use productivity videos, how tech works in my everyday life. I made my first video, it was an iPad Pro video. It was probably the scariest thing I've ever put on the internet because it was a 10 to 16 minute video. And for me, it was the first time I was really putting something with my face and me as really the person, the actor in this, out into the world. And I got an amazing amount of support after that and it kind of motivated me to keep going. And for me, it was phenomenal because I did that video and then two weeks later I did a video and then two weeks later that I did a video and then I kind of made a vow to myself, a promise to myself that I would produce, edit, storyboard, film a video every single week until I hit the end of the year. And right now we're in August and I've, officially cracked 1,000 subscribers, which for me was my first milestone I built for myself because if you know the YouTube space and the YouTube community, 1,000 followers is the point where you can get monetized and you can start to make money off of your videos. And for me, that was big because it was an extra piece of motivation. It was a piece that the viewership that came in, the community that came in, I could take that and give back. I could get more products, I could review more stuff, and I can use that money to really put it back into this channel and this community. And that for me was my first big goal, 1,000 subscribers. And I've finally gotten to that point and I cannot be more blessed, cannot be more, cannot have more gratitude for you guys, my community, because without you guys, this, this really would not have been possible. And it's just a start, like this is a small milestone of many I've set, but this is just a start for how much more is about to come in the future. Inspiration really just came from the fact that I want to tell stories that I can produce from front to back. I can storyboard them, do all the planning I want on the front end. I can then shoot it the way I want to shoot it, however many cameras, if I want to use a Ronin, if I want to use a drone, if I want to use an overhead shot, I can shoot it the way I want to and get real creative. And with my day job basically every day, Monday through Friday, and the occasional Sundays, Saturday became the day I like to shoot. And I shoot Saturday, I edit all through the week, and then I put out a piece Friday. Every Friday morning, a video goes out onto my channel and it goes live. And that's where the inspiration came from. It was holding myself accountable to this goal I had. And it was being able to have a goal that I really do in my free time and something that I can get better at in storytelling and filmmaking and being able to mix film making and the storytelling with the tech and the gadgets is really where I become real passionate about what I'm talking about. And that's where the inspiration and the drive comes to bringing these videos from front to back and really being able to tell the stories I wanna tell on my own platform and my own channel. And that is where the inspiration comes for making these videos on my YouTube channel.
So with this being a creative field, it is so important to learn that before you create for others, you have to be able to create for yourself and you have to enjoy your work and enjoy the product you're putting out in the world. For you to enjoy it, it has to be there and then the other people enjoy it. And that's something that's so important with this platform. It's the fact that you're not always gonna have the best video. YouTube Studio gives you that one out of 10 count and I've learned very early, ignore that because it's toxic, one, but also, some videos are gonna bomb and some videos are gonna do absolutely great and you'll learn from that what your audience wants to see and what you wanna put in for your audience and you learn how that works with this platform. But again, that is so important to not take things personally. You're gonna have bad subscriber months. You're gonna have comments that you just don't agree with and you're gonna have some that are just great but you have to learn that it's all feedback and it's all someone's opinion and it's a community you've built where people can agree and disagree with each other. The next thing is consistency and consistency is so key with this because you have an audience and your audience wants to see work from you and the time you put in, it has to be consistent. The one thing I learned that with putting out a video a week is that my audience knows every Friday there's a video coming. I know schedule wise, Every Saturday, I need to shoot something. And every Sunday through Thursday, I need to edit, come up with a thumbnail, come up with a title, and do all of that work. Usually that all comes together before the video, but it's so important to stress how consistency is so important on this platform of YouTube. And the last thing I gotta say is thank you. Thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my viewers that are not subscribers for tuning into my videos and really supporting me and this journey I've gone on. I have to say this is one of the greatest things I've ever done. 1,000 followers is a little milestone that I'm very proud of myself and very, very blessed that you guys have been along this journey with me. So with that, let's not stop. Next stop, let's get to 10K subscribers. And when we get to 10K, I'll buy one of my subscribers a pair of AirPods. And with that being said, hopefully that comes sooner and AirPods are still a thing and we're not like an AR VR or something. But with that, I wanna thank you guys. I'm so blessed and grateful for everything you guys have done for me, everything all the support, all the viewership, all the comments, all of that stuff doesn't go unnoticed. It's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I like to communicate with you guys, my audience. And until the next video, thank you guys. Thanks for 1,000. Let's get to 10K. A Air pair of AirPods might be yours. And until the next video, guys, thank you for all of the support.